So in the previous video, we talked about how an ATP molecule can, in the presence of water, hydrolysis will take place, and one of the phosphoryl groups could be plunked off, and then the, how that would release energy, because these electrons are going to be able to go into a lower energy state. That, you know, they were kind of, you could one thing that was uncomfortable, you could imagine that this was already a, a, a kind of not that stable of a bond, that all of these electrical, these negative charges wanted to get it away from each other, and once this is plunked off, then of course, when they get into a more comfortable state, energy is released. But you might say, well, I, I want more. I want to actually see the mechanism by which the hydrolysis takes place. And so that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's start with our ATP molecule. And let's throw some water in there, H2O. So let's say this is water right here, oxygen with two hydrogens. And I'll do the two pairs of oxygen that aren't in bonds right over here in, in there. In there in the outermost shell. And actually, let me draw one more water molecule right over here. And there's multiple ways that you could actually kind of depict, depict this right over here. But let's say that one of these, let's say this water molecule right over here, and obviously, uh, no, no organic or, or actually no chemical reaction happens this cleanly. This is showing how it can happen if they just bump into each other in the exact right way. But this has got this pair of electrons. Let's say this pair of electrons is essentially given by this oxygen to this hydrogen proton. So we could draw it like this right there. So it nabs just the hydrogen. Then both of these electrons that are in this pair, that are in this bond, I should say, go back to the oxygen to form, essentially you could think of this as a pair of electrons attached to that oxygen. And then that gives the oxygen license to allow these two, these two electrons to form a bond with the phosphorus. Now the phosphorus is in the mood to form six bonds. It's already got five, and this is a fairly uncomfortable situation for it. So that allows these two electrons right over here to go, these two electrons to go to this oxygen just like that. And so as, as, a, as a result of this, all, everything I've just depicted happening, what does what does it look like? Well, let me just draw a little arrow here. Well, now you're going to have your adenosine diphosphate. Let me put it over here. And just to be clear, this thing has now gained. So it was this oxygen right over here was one way you could think about it. It was, it was a party to a bond, so it was sharing two electrons. Now it's getting both of the electrons. So now it's going to have a negative charge. You could say it's, you know, it had half of, actually had a little bit more than half, because it's more electronegative than uh, the than the phosphorus. But now it's going to now it's going to get both of them. So now this is going to have a negative charge. This is the adenosine diphosphate. And now this phosphoryl group right over here, let me just redraw it. So it's going to look like this. So double bond to that oxygen. You have this oxygen right over here. So that's there. You have that oxygen right over there. And of course, the water, the water molecule, or I guess now it's just going to be an OH group, is going to be, it has, let me, let me see if I can make the colors interesting. So these two electrons have now formed a bond. And you have the oxygen and, of course, this hydrogen here, and I could, well, I haven't drawn any of the other oxygens, but this thing has two, still has two lone pairs. And of course, you have this character right over here who gained, who gained a proton. And so this one you can depict like this. So it's oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen. It had one lone pair. But now it gave half of this lone pair to form a bond with that hydrogen. And yeah, hydrogen without an electron is just a proton. Actually, let me draw it like this, just so you can see it. So these two are now the two electrons in this bond with, with, this, with this hydrogen proton. So this right over here, this is a positively charged, this is a positively charged molecule right over here. And you could imagine, you know, maybe this thing breaks off and it could be viewed as a proton, or you can view this as just a positive charged molecule. But either way, this is the reaction that we just depicted. You have ATP being hydrolysis takes place. You're left with ADP. You're left with a phosphate, a released phosphate 
molecule. And then you're left with a positive charge. You could either view this as kind of a proton or that proton attaches and forms a, a, a hydronium ion right over there. And of course, in the process of doing all of this, as these electrons got into a, as these electrons got into a more comfortable situation, just sitting right over here and allowing this thing to break off, it releases, it releases energy. It releases, it releases energy, which is, in most biological systems, the whole point of having the ATP molecules around.